In game five of the World Series is underway. The Yankees avoiding the sweep last night as the Dodgers hope to wrap the series up in the Bronx. Dodger fans hoping for a big celebration tonight. We have live team coverage first to KTLA's Elena Bovian with us from East L.A. Elena. Hi there, guys. Yeah, really exciting day. We are waiting for the owner of the house here who's been putting on this big show for the entire neighborhood to get home from work so that he can do it today, hopefully just in time for a big Dodgers win. Now, if we pan over this way, you can see they have the whole setup going on for the party today. A little bit late considering the dad is still at work, but he is racing home. They have their drinks out, their chairs out. They even have the projector because we're all hoping to see that big win today. When Freddie Freeman hit that grand slam, everybody just went up like, yeah. East LA resident Luis Soto has been watching the World Series in a very cool way. He projected off a huge water tank in his neighborhood along Rowan Avenue. At the projector, I watched the game. Cars were passing by and they were, they were watching it right there. And, and everybody was stopping by like, oh, go Dodgers. Soto is referring to his neighbor who used a ladder to set up the projector from across the street. These images captured by the Boyle Heights beat. Okay, everybody stops by and take pictures or stop to just see the the final of that inning. That's what I feel. That's what I like, that, that I like about doing it because it just makes everybody happy. It was a real treat for the whole neighborhood as people set up lawn chairs to watch. Even people driving by had to stop for a double take. Game four was not a win for the Dodgers, but there's always game five. Soto says he's got big hopes for the boys in blue. Hopefully we win it for Valenzuela this, this time around. Mm -hmm. Hopefully today or, or in Winshaw tomorrow here in, in, in Los Angeles again, bring you back home. So the family, they've been doing this for years because, as you can imagine, it does bring the whole community together. Guys, when is Dad getting home to turn on the projector? He's, he's right here. He is? Okay, well, we, Dad, you need to hurry up and get this on because what do we want to happen today? We want the Dodgers to win. That's right. Let's go, Dodgers. Let's, Let's go, go, Dodgers! Dodgers! <laughs> Yay. Let's go Dodgers. There you go. Big smiles all the way. All right, Alina, thank you. Dodger fans on both coasts hoping the boys in blue can pull off a game five win tonight. While the Yankees are putting up a good fight, fans are keeping the faith. KTLA 5's Carlos Salcedo caught up with some of them in the Bronx. So the Yankees seem to have finally woken up from a nap, but that's okay because Dodger Nation, we're not nervous at all because we have a commanding series lead three to one. So it's time to put the Yankees misery away. We are not just going to win tonight, but we're getting ready for a parade. The city that never sleeps sure lives up to its name. The Bronx playing host to game five of the fall classic. Yankee Stadium, an impressive venue for a World Series pitting two storied franchises against one another. Pinstripes running the streets of New York. But faithful Dodger Blue is making its presence known, stopping the Yankees in their tracks despite a loss. They woke up pretty late and we were making a comeback. Had this been 12 innings, it would have been a different game. But you know what? We're back in it, we're here to win it and we're gonna take it here. Born and raised in LA, we're from Washington now, but we're here for 24 hours for this. The rivalry between the Dodgers and Yankees on full display in the streets and on the field. What did you make of the play with Mookie Betts and that fan interference? Oh, I was so upset. I mean, I'm glad they got banned because it could it could have been a, a, a risk to his career had they twisted his uh, uh, wrist. I mean, you just never know. I mean, that's pretty pretty harsh. I mean, you know Yankee fans are tend to be a little rough. I mean, it's out there. I mean, but for them to go that far out there and do that, come on. I mean, that's a little to the extreme. What needs to happen? I think our pitching needs to be on point. I know we're going up against Garrett Cole, and I think we just have to be, uh, you know, just be steady with our game. Go Dodgers! <laughs> All right, so no more funny business here. Let's get the win tonight. Head back to L.A. for a parade. Reporting from the Bronx, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.
Well, right now to this game five of the World Series is well underway in the Bronx. The Dodgers one game away from winning the championship if they can just close out this series. And here in L.A., some fans are finding creative ways to watch the game and cheer on the boys in blue. KTLA's Chris Wolf live in East L.A. where fans have created a viewing experience that is bringing together an entire neighborhood. Hi, Chris. Yeah, it's one for the ages. Good evening, Micah and Cher. Game five, as you said, is well underway in New York. It's tied up right now 5-5 in the bottom of the fifth. Take a look. Dodger fans here in East L.A. are watching closely, but in no ordinary ways. When you talk about a big screen, there are big screens, and then there are big screens. Take a look. One family discovered a way to project the game onto the side of a massive water tank across the street from their home here along Rowan Avenue in East L.A. Because of copyright restrictions, we can't show you the scene live, but trust us, it's a big deal. We can show you clips from last night's Game 4 and what the water tank looks like lit up with the Fall Classic between two legendary Major League teams. Initially, it looked and felt like the Dodgers would sweep the series, winning the first three games against the Yankees, but that did not happen with a Game 4 loss in New York. Now it is tied up and tight. Some fans say they would prefer the Dodgers taking the title at home. Others say they don't care. They just want the Dodgers to be the 2024 MLB World Champs. The celebrations, the parties, the revelry will still happen throughout Los Angeles. You came up with this idea to project. I've been doing it since the uh, 2020 championship. Really? Yeah. Is it uh, a big attraction for the neighborhood, a thrill for the neighborhood? Uh, it started being an attraction after it went viral. Yeah. I mean, and I want it to be historical now. <laughs> Isael Morales says he's been a Dodger fan his entire life and believes the team, the boys in blue, really deserve this championship because of their enormous talent and sportsmanship. For now, reporting live in East L.A., I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right, Chris, thank you so much for that. We appreciate it, and I'm sure that the feeling out there is very exciting. And stay with KTLA as we continue our coverage on the excitement surrounding the World Series. For the latest updates, go to KTLA.com and the free KTLA 5 app.